Hey guys, what is up? Fluffy Ninja from War Crew Paintball and War Sports Chicagoland. Uh, I'm here in my living room, real quick. Uh, Krista's in the other room sleeping, so I didn't want to wake her up just to make a video. But, um, so kind of an unboxing slash review because I did use it a little bit today. Um, so this is going to be two different videos. I'm not going to do this all in one video. So I have, um, right here, the new Emac. You guys have all seen the unboxing videos from fucking ANS Gear, uh, Paintball Ruin My Life, PB Nation, whatever. It shoots good. It's got the Gamma Core in it. Of course, it's gonna fucking shoot good. The Gamma Core was so good that they adapted it, put it in the CS2. Of course, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> like, you know. Um, so, it's gonna be a whole separate video. But this video is actually on the V Mech. The V Mech Mechanical. Or v v Mech M1 mechanical paintball hopper or paintball force loader. It's it's a it's a mechanical hopper. Um, so Fala, who is also known as Blow No Nerf, now that he does Nerf channels and stuff like that, or he does Nerf videos and stuff like that, uh, he's, he blew up super big in the Nerf community. He's you know he's still one of my really good friends. But he was like, he messaged me, he goes, hey, are you going to have your GoPro with you at um, the DEF CON game? And I said, yeah, why? He goes, you want to make a video? I said, about what? He goes, well, I'm getting the mechanical hopper. And I was like, oh my god, why? Athena is now in the video. <laughs> but, um, you know, I was like, I was like, why? I was like, you know, it seems like, it seems pretty cool. So, you know what? Yeah, I'll check it out. So, I checked it out. Um... In the Chrono Range, it was it was cool. I was like, damn, this is, you know, it's keeping up. I was shooting the Emac on, and I was like, oh, dude, I'm going full mechanical today. It's a post on my Instagram, uh, if you follow me over there. Um, so, a little bit later into the day, I'm in a firefight. All of a sudden, my hopper goes, Zzz, tink, and my gun stops loading paint. I'm winding the hopper, and oh, my God, there might be footage. I actually don't know. I have to look at my GoPro. I was recording and I got shot in the head because uh, I hit a slapstick and I came back and I went forward again. I don't know if I hit record again on my GoPro. I'm not sure, but I was running my GoPro, so there will be game footage, hopefully, from this from this event. Uh, this is after day one. We came home super early because uh, Athena was like way heat exhausted. I was way heat exhausted. Krista was way heat exhausted. So we're like. Uh, you know, let's go home. It's you know we had our fun. It was it was a good time. But yeah, so this V1 mechanical hopper. Um, I don't have paint, unfortunately, but uh, it's. I mean, it does what it says it does. It loads paintballs mechanically, like so. I don't really want to wake up Crystal, but I, that's that's how loud it is. Like, it stops when there's paint, obviously, in the stack, but it's just, dude, so do not whine beyond 100%. Damage may result in internal parts, or it may result to internal parts. So, that's like, uh, let's see, 50, 40, 30, 30. Uh, it's like maybe 20, but. That's so loud and I was like huh that's kind of funny that it's loud and then I went and I was playing with it and I was like alright this hopper is really fucking annoying um it's cool it, it is cool for what it is I'm not I'm, I'm not denying that it is cool for what it is it's like it's innovative you know you don't need batteries and it's a force feed loader honestly I would rather go with a primo loader though to be 100% honest with you uh holds a little bit I, I think it said 180. I don't think it held that much, but I mean, that could just be me. Uh, I mean, I didn't count every single paintball, but yeah. I mean, it, it is a cool gimmick loader. You know, if if you have this in your bag and your loader dies and you don't want to go buy batteries, you don't have spare batteries or whatever, this, this will do the job. But you'll get maybe a loader through it and a little bit more. Like, if you're loading before it empties, and then it's done, you know? Like, it's, it is cool for what it is. It, like, for real, you know, like, the little indicator on the back, you know, there's a 50% there, 100% there, and then that's empty where it is now. So, 
it is it is pretty cool. Uh, we didn't. I mean, again, it kept up with the EMAC uh, in the Chrono range and on the field. I was, you know, going away at it. So you know, um, so green energy, spring power, no needs of any batteries, full mechanical structure, no DC motor, electronic devices required, anti free spin technology, energy status indicator, screw force feed system. It's it's cool. It really is. It is it is a cool gimmick loader. But after like my third time winding it, I was like, all right, fuck this hopper. <laughs> so I went back to my Spire. But it is it is definitely a cool gimmick. But like when Fala told me that he bought it, I was like, why? And I know one of our one of our new guys that we just picked up. He's like, I want it. And I was like, why? It's just, dude, it is not good at all. It's. Let me let me rephrase that. Let me I'm I'm kind of shitting on this thing. For what it is, it's good. It's a mechanical hopper that doesn't require batteries. It doesn't need anything special. Put it on your gun, put paint in it, wind it and it goes. Compared to Aspire 3, however, yeah, it's you know, it, it's garbage. I mean, but again, it is it does what it says it does. You know, it keeps up with an EMAC. Uh, we haven't shot it on like uncapped or anything like that, but uh, we we might do that tomorrow. I don't I don't know, but um, you know, it it'll feed it'll feed a hopper on a mechanical gun, no problem. So if you know, if I don't know, like I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to think of a situation that you would use this, but I think only experienced guys that want it for a joke or you know, be like, hey, if you need to borrow a hopper, here you go, and you know, you hand them this. Um, like that's that's really the only I can see it working for pump guys, absolutely. But again, pump guys love their Winchesters, they love their Primos, they love their their the new stuff that Paintball NDA is doing or what the hell ever his, his name is on Instagram. But you know those those little tiny hoppers that hold like thirty shots and they're like, yeah, this is cool. It's like, why the fuck would you want that? Just use stick feed. But for for what it is, it is cool. I will give it that. It is super, super cool. It's just, compared to the hoppers on the market, it's not good. I'm not sure how much it was. Um, but I, I'm, I'm, I don't think they're that expensive. But, again, like, if you're going to buy this, just save, save your money by, by an, an LTR, you know, which is a super good loader for 100 bucks, or buy... Now, I'm not going to tell you to buy a level because those things are garbage, but um, the uh, the level is more garbage than this thing. I'll 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 say that this thing is way better than an LVL loader. <laughs> so, you know, GI, get your shit together. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching. It's kind of like the the unboxing slash review of the the V Mech M1 mechanical loader. I believe is that I know it's backwards, but. Yeah, it's, you know, I mean, hey, somebody, somebody did it. That's the thing. Somebody did it, and now they just have to make it better. So, I'm, I'm super excited to see what this company does next. I, I really, really am. I, if they do something even cooler than this, I'm in. But, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys very much for subscribing. Uh, go ahead and, you know, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click that button. Um stick around for more mechanical content because honestly um, the way the way the life is going right now I'm gonna be pretty much just shooting mechanical again not not the life is bad right now I, I just found out I'm getting a raise that's pretty cool <laughs> um, but you know uh, financial wise I'm not gonna be going out and dumping you know 30, 30 pods you know a day for for paintball I'll be going out with my CVO this new emac um, G Macs are garbage. I'm sorry. Um, if you have a G Mac, I would highly suggest that you sell it and buy an E Mac. It's the exact same valve, exact same core. I mean, granted, if you like slider frames, sure, but those slider frames compared to like an auto cocker slider frame, they're garbage. Um, I know Jack Woods did really well on it, and again, for what it is, it's awesome. Yeah, just it, again, it's not for me. My personal opinion is. It's not for me. So I probably shouldn't say they're garbage, but I should say that they're not for me. Uh, especially after shooting, you know, <laughs> uh, CBOs and everything like that. But it was it was, it was was a cool thing, but uh, 